Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Vibe with Five is back and we are still running the competition for one lucky winner to meet the Vibe with Five team and watch the episode live in the Five Studios. That's right, for a chance to be entered into the competition, download the Live Score app and sign up to Live Score 6. The winner will be announced on the show next Monday, the 9th of October. So click the Live Score link in the top right or in the description below for a chance to win. And remember, no Arsenal fans for that. Now, Live Score 6 <laughs> are offering you the chance to win another £250,000. And all you need to do is predict the scores of the six selected matches and listen to me, and a jackpot could be yours. So, guys, you know exactly what to do. Download the Live Score app and sign up to Live Score 6. Predict the six scores for a chance to win big. Only in the UK and Ireland, and you have to be over 18 to enter. Full T's and C's apply. Tune in to the end of the show where we will be sharing our Life Score 6 predictions for this week. It's a vibe with fire, vibe with fire, and you already know this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Joel Bayer here with Stephen Housen. I don't, I can hear you smiling. Rio Ferdinand. Mate, where's my top boy jacket that I've got? Oh, you got one? Have I got one? Yeah, no, nah, you ain't. Let me, let me quickly get this on because we're top boys. You <laughs> Arsenal. Of course we're top boys. Mate, no I'm name on it. Good boy. No name on it. Don't name, matter. Listen, shout out to Asher D. You know what I mean? Send me what I needed after a good result this weekend, Arsenal. No signal in there or on my phone or what? What's nah, going on? Bro, I, I don't know about that. All I know is that we're winning at the moment. But selfish, yes. Selfish. Very selfish. Unbelievable. Listen, we have a special guest here today joining Vibe with Five. Um, you know, he's played for big clubs, man. One of the most vocal players that I've ever seen. I don't know if that was good or bad. You're going to be telling us about it during this episode and also the career episode that we got coming out later this week. Serie A winner, you know. You've done a lot, bro. You know, Thanks. and we're very happy to have Kevin Prince Boateng. Oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, Say sorry. Again. <laughs> Kevin Prince Boateng. Hey. Black stars in the building. Come on. How hey, you doing, man? Good, good. Thank you for having me, man. Oh, a there's pleasure. a lot we got to get into. There's so many managers, so many players that you played with. Yeah. Some, yeah. And more clubs than Tiger Woods? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a cra it's a crazy week, man. We're going to have content galore with you and you've flown just to be with us and yeah, we, we really appreciate, appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure. Oh, man, this is the vibes, man. Five. Uh, now, we're going to be really honest. Like, you're, you know, you've been busy, you've been working, you've had things in your life, so you ain't really watching the Prem like that. But we know that we can lean on to you when it comes to, you know, your thoughts and what you've been through, etc. So, We've got you, man. We carry you. Where do you <laughs> want to start, guys? What team did you grow up supporting? Uh, I supported like Hertha Berlin, where I was born, and then sorry, Blaugrana Barcelona fans gonna hate me now, but uh, Real Madrid. Oh, nice, okay, yeah. decent. Uh, yeah. Then you went to play for the yeah, but I, could, I couldn't say that in the press conference. They told me like never say that. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise we can't play you. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, I say, what you mean? He's like, no, nah, you can't because two years before I had an interview when I played in Las Palmas. And they asked me who's the best player in the world. I said, in this world, Ronaldo in the Galaxy, Messi. And then they asked me your favorite club, and I said Real Madrid. Wow. So they grabbed and Nobody that. brought that up. No, they did. The first question oh. was that. Wow. wow. The first question was, who's your favorite club? I said Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, who's the best player in the world? They said Messi. Yeah. <laughs> man. I, I think we. we Shows you that the players just lie, man. Yeah, all the time. We just of course. Lie. All the time. No, but this is one, one of the biggest lies because I usually say always the truth, but this one I had to lie because I wanted to put on the shirt for one time in the camp new, you know? Yeah. No, we I think understand. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we understand. <laughs> but uh, I think we there's only one place to start, innit? Oh, why is it? Let's, <laughs> let's be Man honest. United. Man United. Manchester United losing 1-0 to Crystal Palace after beating them mm -hmm. during the week in the League Cup. I mean, it was a it was a different Palace, wasn't it? Steve, I'll let you kick this one off, man. Where'd you even start? It was like, you can I can rinse every single player. I can rinse, like... I don't know. You, we 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 get to see Palestri, but when you see Crystal Palace going a bit of a low block, he's a bit direct. Is he the right kind of player to unlock that? We had so much possession, but it wasn't. Do you know what it felt like to me? Just sometimes you get loads and loads of possession, but it's one paced. Like we had so much of the ball, but we didn't mm. we didn't know when to <clears> speed it up. We didn't know when to start going one touch. We didn't know when to maybe put a bit of risk on it. And it just seemed like. We were really happy to just have the ball, ship it side to side. And it almost had like that training game pace to it where there wasn't any sort of, desire's the wrong word, but it wasn't sort of any edge 
to the way we were playing. It wasn't like a ruthlessness the way we were playing. It was kind of like... It was, it was almost a, like you're looking around, who's going to win it for us? Yeah. They weren't that player that went, this is me. Mm-hmm. Like you would have played some big players in your time, but you know, there's a game, there's all, a lot of games happen where you're just passing it and it's a little bit like passive and oh, it's, we're not going anywhere. Then one player goes, you know what? No, 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 no. Mm. Bang. You guys ain't got that. The live score stat showed <laughs> Rashford was seventy-seven percent. <laughs> yeah, Rashford was that I don't last like season. The way your vibe is at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm just honest. No, you guys don't like it. I'm just honest. Listen, what I did. Five games in. Bro. Okay, well, Big this, spoon, this, like, uh. what I did. I was going through some. You know, I was talking to Prince. I said, "Listen, you ain't you ain't watched the Prem this weekend. Don't worry, I'll update you." I showed him some <laughs> videos. What videos did I show you? Like just how many boards Rashford lost? Right. Let's start there. Why? Right. Why does it matter? It does. It doesn't because matter. Let me tell no, you something. It's a nonsense yeah. No, 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 no. Forward it's, players lose the ball. They're no, no, but if this, is, this, is, that's a this is different though. And do you know why it's different as well? Last season, you're crying for a target man because Weghorst, yeah, he can hold the ball up, but he ain't getting you goals for nothing, mate. You've now bought in a man for 60, 70 million. He's working hard, by the way, Hoyland. I thought he had, uh, he, he, he had a good half, if that makes sense, but he's not getting any service. You know, we've got clips here from Flex. We have to look at ourselves and say, Absolutely just not good enough, I have to say. If I'm looking at individuals, Marcus Rashford. He lost the ball quite Marcus a few times Rashford. in that first half. Marcus Rashford, I, I don't know I don't know mm. what's up with him. Mm. Shocking today. Was he Absolutely injured? Awful. Was he because I know he's not received that, Joel, some Joel, He received Joel. some no I'm like, I'm just it's saying from what I see and it's the first time it's I've seen you guys that, playing this season mm. and I was surprised that sometimes running into brick walls, some, I just thought It's a common theme, Joel. On? It's not injuries, it's a common theme, just decision making. We can lose our heads and say everything's everything's crap and yeah, you, yeah. you gotta keep calm. You but do. essentially mm. it's been a stuttering start to the season. This yeah, is the batch of games that Man United have got where we're supposed to be mm. picking up W after W after a tough start. He's not he's not receiving the ball the way he should be. I don't even remember Hoyland having a shot on target. Like you got wingers playing, you got your Rashford's Palestries. When they get the ball, head down, running into trouble, running into brick walls. I want to know where is the Marcus Rashford from last season? Marcus Rashford's never been the guy against the low block, and that was what it was up against with Palace. You've got him and Palestri are both kind of trying to do the same job. They're both direct. They're both going a little bit for themselves. They both want a bit of space in behind. This ideally would have been a game where if they were available, a Greenwood, an Anthony or a Sancho, where they can operate in between the lines, when they can actually link play a little bit, those three players would have been a far better choice if they was available than than what we actually put out. And people say, no, get rid of Marcus and play Ganacho. Ganacho's even more direct. Mm. You know, he's going to run into even more trouble because he doesn't link play. He's extremely direct and I think he's great coming off the bench because I think a tired defence, he's amazing. I agree, I agree with but that. But I think when you, when you, he's, he's started a couple of games this season. He's been he, poor, he, he, he was he, rubbish. And he was shit. Yeah. He, he didn't, he didn't this play. Is, this is a per, low block. I mean, Kevin, I'd like you to give your opinion here, but a low block here, You've got to stretch teams wide. You've got to get the, the pitch as big as you can to stretch the back four out as much as possible and then play into the gaps for a Hoyland, yeah? Especially if you've got but, Joe Ward But what, in I'm his say, what I'm saying is I don't think they're even doing that, like getting the ball wide. Sometimes just put the ball in the box. I, I watched a youth team game the other day, under 18s, and it goes all the way up to the first team. Defenders nowadays aren't coached how to defend crosses. If you cross the ball these days, you're going to get a chance or you're going to get an own goal. You're going to get some scuff and win the box. Yeah, but when you've got a number nine in there, one of his attributes that stands out at the moment is his physicality and you're not putting the ball in those areas. Why is he there? That's my big problem with him. I think like games like that, when you have like teams dropping <clears> so <throat> deep, you have to adapt to it. So even play with five, mm. you know, open it wide, put players on the line, on like stretch them how you said. That's what you have to do as a coach, maybe or as a player, as a, as a, as a leader on the pitch, you just say, adapt to it. Let's do something different. Mm. But most of the teams, they stick to the same thing and then it's not working and then you can lose the game. You know? well, what's your thoughts on uh, Eric Ten Hag? I think he's got to go. Like what I'm seeing, what I, like, there's no energy. You know, I don't see any energy. And then what he did to Ronaldo and all that, you know, it's too much stuff. I think he's not, he's not on the level to be the coach of Man United. Even the team is not the best. We have to be honest, they have some good players, but it's not the best. But still, like there's no fire. Mm. Like you come to Old Trafford, it's like how you said, they're pulling a ball, there's no pace, no one gets angry. Like no one puts in like passion and fire, you know? And if my player doesn't do that, like me as a coach, I have to do that. What was wrong with what he done with Ronaldo? He was a top scorer, you just kick him out. Like you, he goes against the best player in the team. You don't do that. You have to give him respect. And then there was there's ways to let a player off mm. and there's ways. I think he, he chose the wrong way. I, I, think I don't he know how much choice he had, you know? I think Ronaldo engineered all of that. The way it went. You think? 
when you're looking at, for example, we're going to go back to this game in a second, but the Sancho situation, you're talking yeah. about going against players. You as a player, sometimes you've bumped heads with coaches. You know, would you say that you don't think he's handling it correctly or the players yeah, who, have got to take responsibility wrong, as well? Though? Do you think Sancho's in the wrong? Or I think both are sorry? wrong, but you don't have to put it out that way. You know, it looks so bad for the club, for Ten Hag, for Sancho. It just looks really negative. You only read negative stuff. He says this, they say that, you know. I think you just need to sit down with the player and tell him honestly what you think, what he has to do. The player says what he has to do. Then or he leaves or he stays there and gives uh, gives everything. I don't think Sancho gives everything. Like he's not there with his head 100%. And I think Man United is treating him as well in the wrong. So you just have to find a solution. I think Sancho is an unbelievable player. So much potential. What he showed in Dortmund. Coming back to England didn't help him because of the environment for sure he's all his buddies out here his friends you know he's not ah yeah whatever but then you have to find a solution because like from outside it just looks like i'm, I'm in germany i was in sydney mm. everything you read is just negative 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 do you think sancho's move to may united was the wrong choice for yeah him? yeah yeah it's a comfort zone you know he comes here his friends are around you know how it is i was the same when i came back to berlin i have my friends around yeah football is second mm. you know in dortmund you didn't have no one around look how he performed mm. he was flying because he was just focusing on football, football, football. There were no excuses. Now he has excuses. Ah, the coach doesn't like me. I'm not training good, but the others don't, they don't train good. No, think about yourself. Do your job. And whenever you do your job, then you can talk about it and say, I did my job. And then the coach, he can decide because coach can say, I don't like the way you play, whatever, but you can, with your chest out, shake his hands you and thank question. you. You can't question, you can't question. Exactly, mm -hmm. but they have, they have, they have uh, like leverage to attack him. And you as a player, don't give them the moment to uh, the chance to attack you. Do you did you have any situations where you like you bumped heads with a coach like yeah, that? And so you can many, give us an example. So many uh, times. Like even going to Milan, the first like weeks, I bumped heads with Allegri. Like, you know. <laughs> no, I was I'm like, you know me, like uh, I yeah. don't care. Like yeah. I go head to head with every player, with every coach, and I argue with them and I tell them what I think. But at the end of the day, the coach is the boss. So what you have to He's do is always as a, gonna win. Of course. What you have to do as a player? Close your mouth, work hard, and mm. it's going to come. That's what I did. I became most important player in the club, whatever, like in the team. But sometimes it doesn't work out, but at least you can go out and say, I did everything. Mm. You know, no excuses. This is the worst. Like today, players have too many excuses. Yeah, but this didn't work. This, no, work hard. And if it doesn't work here, next team. Mm. I think that's Sancho's problem at the minute is the, the noise is coming out. Like the statement that he put out, if he had said, I disagree with what the manager's saying, but... I'm gonna go home and try to prove. Yeah, and then the or... next thing you see of him is he's out on a piss in New York. If that was a bad move, that if what we'd have seen of him is there was a leaked video of him doing one to ones with one of the one to one coaches yeah, on the Saturday. Him. Yeah, then then that would have flipped it the other way around. And gives people him time. Going, yeah, and he gives him time. Him, the fans will give him time. Then there will be a bit more like you know what actually. I can see he wants to be here. He's working hard, but I mean, if you fly out to America, it doesn't look right, man. Of course, but not. you know why that, we were talking off air before why that happens. These guys are paid so much money. Like it, it, when you get paid so much money, you lose care. You lose care of what people think. I don't care what no one thinks. No yeah. one can affect me. I'm good. I'm good now. My family are good. I don't care what you lot say. That's the that's the energy you get yeah. from some players. Yeah, but use that money. Like you, today, even <laughs> I would leak a video myself. I would have my mm. friend in the corner say, take a video of me doing one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. And we put that out mm. just to be intelligent. Mm. Use your intelligence a little bit. Use the money you have. Mm. No, he's going to America, whatever. So... Yeah, yeah, the people yeah, they, they don't, don't care. But, but, but it's, give no gaps. But it's fair to say as well that look, Man United as a whole, it's not good. We could talk about Sancho; he didn't even play. You know? No, no. But what he says, right? I, no, he's both right. Have responsibility yeah, in this situation. Yeah. I'm talking about United in general. Now, it was the first time that I saw you guys live this week, and I was surprised. I think, to be fair to certain players, I think Mason Mount had a good first half. I spoke to to you Rio earlier on. I think like Amrabat. Amra for me, he looked sound. Call positive. hero him. Come in. Him like, come in. he was sound. Top like, player. sound the whole game. Like, I was really impressed with him. I think with him, mm. what I like about him, when you look at the recruitment, one of the things I like about him, he's a man. Mm. He's a man who's going to go in there and he's going to, I think he's going to start setting the tone. Something he's going to be a leader. Yeah, I played yeah. with him in uh, Fiorentina. He's really good. Like yeah. he's he's like a guy who's gonna give everything every day. What's mm. it like dressing room wise? Is he gonna get a grip of people if they're not pulling away? No, he's not that <clears> type <throat> of guy who's gonna talk. Maybe who's gonna get angry. He's like more of a speaker on the pitch. Show. Yeah, he's gonna show you. He's gonna run back and forth, box to box. He's not a, a speaker. He's like the, the Muslim. You know, he's very 
with himself, but mm -hmm. on the pitch, he will give you everything. And this is where people will like get pulled up, yeah, uh, lift up, you know. Really, really, really impressive him. I think um look, there's whispers of some of your fan base, Steve. They're not really happy with the coach uh, at the moment. And just stop getting your opinions off Twitter. No, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. You're upset with me. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you what's going on in the WhatsApp chats. I'm not saying get rid of him or all this stuff because I believe that's Ke that's Kevin over here, you know, Prince saying it, not me. Yeah, I know. Right? I'm going to pull him up on him. Uh, yeah, but, but I'm saying you, he should be getting the time anyway, like Arteta did. You, there's too much of this knee-jerk reaction stuff, in my opinion. But he definitely needs to be taking responsibilities because those summer signings were his and... I'm not really seeing the best out of a lot of them. How many games have you been? I know, that's what no, I'm No, 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 no. just made his first Premier League game. Listen, I'm, I'm not talking about him. probably still a little bit injured. It was obvious that Martinez was injured coming into the start of the season, hence why the injury that he had back in, what, April has recurred. You know, all right, some of the players haven't been at it. I've spoke that's the ones about I'm talking about. Yeah, I've spoke about pre-season. I think pre-season has mm -hmm. been an issue. How much of the goals that have gone in have been down to Onana? Couple, maybe, realistically. You say a couple, but that guy's conceded far yeah, right, right, too that's much. The point is that a couple are down to him. That's it. The rest of them are down to shite defending from the rest of the team. Defended well Defending is a team sport, mate. Like, so I, I think trying to look at, at what have his signings done. When you look, you contrast it to across the road at Manchester City, Pep signs someone, Haaland aside, they get put on ice for a year while they learn how to play the system. United aren't in a sort of privileged position at the moment. We have to hit the ground running immediately. Or you get nuggets like you trying to cuss them out on a podcast straight off the Steve, bat. Going, Steve. Oh, you played twice. Why haven't you won one Steve, of the matches? Steve. No, no, no. Rodri That's comes out of the City team. Nunes goes in. They lose. No one says a word about him. <clears throat> yeah, but they've credit. They've got that's credit, they've got, they've got credit in the bank. First though, they've that's just United, won the treble. If that's Man United, that's that, that player just come in, he gets mullet. That, that's, because, that's because it's the same since you left. Yeah, it's been the same since not, you left. But even because Man United is a bigger club. <laughs> the expectations are always bigger with Man United. If you go to Germany, Italy. You heard that, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. It's the truth, bro. In Germany, Italy, you go. Man United is the bigger club. Man, Man City just came up like five years ago. You know what mm. I mean? So the expectations mm. are bigger. But my question is for you, hardcore Man United fan. Do you feel solid good with Ten Hag on the, on the bench? Yeah. Okay, that's the most important. If you believe that he's the right man, then we don't have to discuss well, anything. We saw it last year that the is. Did he say a couple of weeks ago in a press conference, I made to get a grip of the discipline. And that was before the Sancho stuff kind of mm. came out. So he's clearly had loads of dramas behind the scenes with discipline. There's been all sorts of leaks that have been happening. And you, you can speculate about which former captain that was that's been putting that stuff out there. You know, there's been so much <laughs> noise around the club at the moment that he must... He must go in and just put his head on his desk every morning. Mm. With, and that he can't just get on the pitch and focus on what he has to work on. He's not been able to play his best team once this year. He's not been able to work with his team, really, because of the, the amount of games that have just started. And you kind of hope that we pick up what he's trying to do in the middle of all these like Champions League yeah. games and league games. Steve, like lay off it, man. You're going on like he had like 10, 15 injuries. When you look no, at that 12, team, no, when you look at that team that played, by the way, yeah. it wasn't that far off your best right, team. You're missing Martinez is and you're missing it? Luke Shaw. Everyone else, who you, you had one, on, one on, first choice. On, Wait, hang on. Probably would have played. One on, first got... choice in your back line. And Varane has only just come back from injury. He's not match fit. He played well. He did play well. He, he played well. But he's not match fit. No, he played well. So you've he got was fine. one out of your back, uh, your starting lineup. You've got Casemiro, who's not match fit or not fit, whichever way you want no, to call No, 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 he's fit. He's just right? not playing that well. But it looks <laughs> like fitness. You've got Marcus not playing, Palestri, who's probably not a starter. Is Hoyland match fit? He's getting there. He's getting there. Probably he's not. getting there. He's, he's getting there. Say, he's yeah, getting there. Is last Steve. season, the end of last season, we, everyone who watched Man United was saying, they're not Man United the way everyone expects them to be, but you can see they're improving with this guy. We start the season, for whatever reason, it's like they've gone backwards, yeah? So they you're have, waiting. It's not like so you're, so you're waiting. You're waiting now for a response for them to come again. Because mm. listen, remember when he started last season, poor results early on. Mm. So you're hoping that that trajectory continues like this again at some point, and it changes. But at the moment, I can understand where the negativity comes from. You can understand why certain p parts of the fan base are booing at the stadium a little bit. I don't understand it, but I, I get why they're doing it. But it's. You still need time, man. And need I think, with the, like you said, knee-jerk reactions, I'll oh, get rid of him, get rid of him. Is I think it's... Yeah, that's wrong. You've got to give the guy some time. He's shown that he can improve the team and improve <laughs> some players. But 
They need to they need to get going now. They need to like, and don't forget Rio. They're ruining my weekend. Rio, Rio, they beat Palace. <laughs> A few days no, before. No, they beat Palace's B team. No, it don't matter, Rio. They this beat should be, B team. It should be routine. We can't be here discussing the fact that they beat in Palace and you're like, oh no, but that was their B team. You should be beating Crystal Palace at OT Simple as. No, no, I'm not denying that. I'm That's just saying sure. they beat Palace in the cup. That was their B team. And they they bought their A team and they got a result against us. That tells you that we're, we're not where we should be. Yeah. What you was know, it I like coming? You come to Old Trafford before. What was when you played? What was it like? You know, you get beaten. Like you were in the tunnel, you know today is nothing to go. And we came there with Tottenham, you know, we had a good team, like Robbie Keane, Berbatov, whatever. But we knew there's no chance to win because you guys came out confident. And that's what's missing as confident, well, you know, the yeah. confidence. Mm. Players coming out, wanting the ball, going one against one, lose the ball, no problem, I'll, I'll do it again. And I'm telling you again, that comes from the coach. The coach doesn't look like he has confidence. Telling you, when I watch a game, I see him on press conference, whatever. He doesn't give me this the fire. He probably doesn't have confidence at the minute because the club's an absolute shit show. Yeah, but who is who has the power to turn it around? A coach, because he Maybe. comes and he gives the players confidence. The mm. players have no confidence. When I, when I came to Old Trafford, I knew I'm going to lose. I saw this guy coming out. Bam, he's two meters, two meters. He was bigger than he is. <laughs> then Vidic coming out. You know, they all came came out like Ronaldo, Bang. But he was like, oh my god, no chance. Gixi, Scholes, all of these players. It's a different time. You don't have the quality of the players anymore. But still, Old Trafford is Old Trafford. There's magic in that stadium. But it started. The, the, what was the home form like last year? Last year. Well, it was between Brighton and Brighton. We didn't lose. It was like and unreal. Everybody, everybody played us there. So we were building something, but it seems to have just crashed down quick, uh -huh. and that needs to be rebuilt qu even quicker. It's on the players. Like was Arteta eighth? twice because of Arteta or was he eighth twice because he didn't have the team that he needed to be able to do what he was doing I don't think he had the team when you was asking yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think he had the team Steve but I, I think it's different with um, Eric Ten Hag because I think when you look now in the last two seasons he's had signings oh no no Casemiro. Been 40 months. no 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 but he's had th these are his players now they should be kicking in you shouldn't be looking like you're going backwards that's my issue I agree do you know what I mean so I'm not saying, oh, get him out. I'm not saying that. I think you should stick with a man. And I think he's a good manager. But we can't deny the fact that he's had signings. And you guys need to be, was it seven games, four losses? Something like that? Sounds about right. <sighs> not good. Don't act like you exactly. don't know. Not good. Exactly. Like don't like know. Don't lie to me. He knows exactly what he's saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's right here. I'm just saying. Not bad. Um, are we, are we going to move it on to, yeah, quick. To, to, to Bournemouth Arsenal? Just really quickly. Just really quickly. You could have you could have signed for Arsenal at one point, right? Yeah, back in the day when I was 17. Is it? What happened? A scout, a scout came to talk to me and then, but my mum and my brother said no. Arsene Wenger's could have signed the level. Wow. It's outrageous. Really? Why? What happened? <laughs> Where What's did you it? sign instead? No, I stayed in Berlin. I just became a professional. So there was like a youth under 18 tournament with national teams. And then this guy came to me and he spoke to me. He was like the head scout of, um, and he said, Arsene Wenger is very interested, whatever. And uh, But my mum and my brother said, no, nah, you stay home. Really? It was too early. Too early. Yeah, it was too early. Wow. And wow. then I went to Spurs. <laughs> oh, man. Not a good look, man. Uh, yeah, so we beat Bournemouth 4 0. Look, I'll take this one, guys. Really comfortable. You know? I know, I've just uh, seen a, a comment here. Culture Cam says United can't compete with Bruno and Rashford as their star players. Yeah. Didn't they score 70% of our goals last year? That's one for Culture Cams, if I'm honest. Cams, get a grip, man. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, back to the Arsenal game. I mean, look, really simple stuff. Let me tell you something. The difference with us and other teams, not naming any names. Getting loads of pens. You, well, our players have got to be in those positions to get them in the first place. Saka, that's a professional right there. Focused on football. New contract or not. Well, he's he got 83 up. or 84 consecutive Premier League games now. Right, he was saying the other day, innit? Like, ridiculous. You know that guy is just... On a Friday evening, he's not out doing a madness. He's focused. He's a focused player, probably praying, doing whatever he does. And then after that, he goes Should and he does banned. the business, you know. Why? That tackle on uh, um, the Emirates. Oh, yeah. It was fine. It was fine. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, Saka scores. Odegaard, captain. Like Rio, you talk about Odegaard a lot, innit? Like, yeah, I love him. I like the way he plays. Like, he's, a, he's, a, he's an artist. The yeah. way he plays off mm -hmm. the left foot as well. Just the left footers always look a bit different. Mm. And yeah, I, I, they always look better. Isn't it? It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why that is. You said that the armband would weigh a little bit heavier on him. Maybe. Like it might. Did I what did I say? Did. It might. I said it might. You said it would. No, I said it might. <laughs> 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 I said it might. Just and that's, that's I think that's uh, that's fair. Like if you're given 
he spoke earlier about being given a number ten shirt. Yeah. How mm -hmm. heavy that weighs. Right. Have you been cap? Where have you been captain? No, never. I don't. I didn't like to be captain. Mm. Why? Because the band is nothing for me. Like I was always a captain in one way. Mm. Like today, I think there shouldn't be one captain. There's like four or five. Yeah. But I never wanted to be a captain because going out on the pitch as first, and I didn't like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> didn't really, like that. you? Yeah, I didn't like that look. Like I, I'm, I was a leader, but in my way. Uh -huh. And the captain has to be always perfect. You know, has to say the right thing, and I wasn't that. Mm -hmm. There's pressure with that as well. Yeah, with, with, with a captain. That's why I questioned my Odegaard. Is he gonna? Is he got a personality? Will he be able to? deal with all the pressure that comes with being the captain of a yeah, big club like awesome. Arsenal so young as well but you have to say man since the armband went on him I think he's got bigger mm. is there more off the pitch stuff that we won't know about like ambassador delegate type stuff that you have to do nah, you have to do a few bits and pieces but it's nothing too taxing like you've got to go into the referees room before the game and then you've got to uh, when the officials come to the to the training ground maybe and, and talk to the team you're one of the, the voices maybe at them points but like, like Kevin was saying Leaders lead in different ways. I'm yeah. about as a captain for previous clubs or, or his country and stuff at times. And he he might be quiet, but when he, Vidic was the same, didn't really mm. speak around the training ground. Vidic wouldn't have a relationship other than probably with me or Berbatov, properly deeper conversations. He's a, he was a captain at that time. But you go on the pitch, mm, my man was just life. running through brick walls. Yeah. Like, but leading by the way he played. Sol Campbell was the same, not a massive communicator but went out there and played hard. Like I was more vocal. I was more of a shouter, organizing, organize, 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 and keeping people concentrated yeah. and stuff. But everyone's different. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, who's the best captain you've played under? Jesus. <laughs> Cause I know you've had some <laughs> guys. That's a good question. I think the best was Ambrosini. He was a captain in this big team, you know, with all stars legend. And he was like, he was a decent player, but nothing incredible, but he did his job, but he was a great captain because he, he kept like everything on the low. He was good with the coach. He was good with the players. You know, he was really political correct. How how do you do that if you're not the best? Especially at that team. Well, you name some of the players yeah, that you were playing with at the time Champions as well. Leagues, you know, he's not the little yeah. player. Yeah. But still, yeah. he wasn't technical, maybe the best, but he always gave his heart. So people respect that. Mm. He always gave everything. Mm. Like look at Messi, he's, he's a captain, he doesn't speak. He doesn't need to speak because he's going to speak on the pitch. The feet, mm -hmm. the left foot does the talking. Mm -hmm. He doesn't speak. <laughs> in the dressing room, he's like, speak to one person. Did he ever say to you like, well played or? No, we yes. spoke one time in the, in the shower because he asked me if it's uh, difficult to score in Italy because Ronaldo at that time was in Italy. <laughs> oh. so, you know, yeah. And he asked me like, would I score a lot of goals? I said, you score wherever you want, you know, you're Messi. But there you could see like the rivalry a little mm -hmm. bit. They respect each other a lot, but you could see he was asking me, is it difficult? I said, it's more difficult because it's more important in Italy to keep the number zero in the back than to score, you yeah, know? Yeah. But uh, Do you think Messi could have gone to Italy and done numbers like Ronaldo yeah, did? Easy. Yeah, easy. He, he can score wherever he wants, like Ronaldo. These two, they could go anywhere. People forget what Ronaldo done at Juventus, you know. Yeah. He Mad done oh, madness. That's yeah. why football is like this, man. One second, they forget everything. People t try to attack him. What are you talking about? This guy scored every game, two, three, whatever. He did they, what they, he wanted. They, they talk about his, met, his Juventus time. Like, oh, he was, on, he was on the yeah. way. Yeah. Bro, wow. he ripped up the record books over yeah. there. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. This football it goes too quick. That's why he's one of your favorites, isn't he? You've always said he's yeah, one of your... This guy's he's up there. He's unbelievable. Um, yeah, just you Moving know. On from wait, 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 wait. Light work, you oh. know. Kai Havertz first goal. Was it didn't even, yeah, didn't even have to celebrate. Move on then, move you know what I mean? Move on, ben, move on. ben White, you know, ninety plus three minutes, amazing stuff. You know, right now it, it seems like Arsenal. It's great to be an Arsenal fan. It's right great, now. and we got Man City next week. No Rodri, up. no Rodri, no Kevin, um, Kevin De Bruyne. I'm speaking. John Stones. To, I'm, I'm speaking to City fans. And they're scared, bro. Scared? Well, where is it? At the Emirates. They're scared. scared. They're saying, they're I don't know if they're scared. They're just, they just want to travel, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> they lost to Wolves, though. They lost to Wolves. They, do you know what I mean? It's not been a great I think week for them. I think Rodri, it's already proved to get lost against Wolves. They would never lose against Wolves with Rodri there, I don't think. Yeah. This guy is indispensable for that team. Mm -hmm. They need to find... That's This is where I thought Calvin Phillips was there for. As soon as that guy got the red card, I'm sitting there thinking, Calvin Phillips is going, right, guys, oh, this is my time to step in. He doesn't even bring his boots to the stadium. What are you on about? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Go on, Prince. Oh, Calvin Phillips, I didn't know, when was it, the Euros? Yeah. Where he played unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I rated him. I was like, this guy, wow. But I think Man City move was too quick, too early for him. Yeah. He should have, like, gone to another club, get time, play every game. 
because he was unbelievable. He was my favorite player. I was an expert mm -hmm. in the German uh, TV. TV. Mm -hmm. I saw this guy playing and say, "Wow, for me the play of the tournament." Mm -hmm. so, I mean, yeah, wow. So decisions. I hit right? him up on Instagram. I said, "Bro, keep striving, keep going." You know, and he's like, "Thank you, brother." And I thought he's gonna go. He's gonna go at six. Oh, it's it's decisions. Isn't it? Decisions can really change your career. There's De Bruyne, Rodri. You know, I have to sometimes look at teams and say that I made this mistake when I was 20. I didn't look at the sheet with, uh, with Tottenham. It was Jermaine Genius, uh, Modric. <laughs> I come there. I will never play. Mm -hmm. I should have watched and say, "No, I go to a smaller team and get time." You know. Sometimes you have to wait for that step. Wow, man. So yeah, all I'm saying is Arsenal. So you're saying now you're going to beat Man City? That's what yes. you're saying. Your energy yes. is absolutely saying that. Brother, I'm a top boy, yeah. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, we're going to be on tops So if Pep loses back-to-back, Wolves well, Arsenal's got to go, right? I'm going draw. Nah, man. They, but they, but they, City they, are lucky to get a draw. They've done us too dirty in the last Is it possible for both of them to lose? Nah, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Speaking about um, losses, <laughs> Liverpool, Woo! Yeah. your rivals. I saw your fans getting excited because they lost against Tottenham. I wasn't uh, really bothered. Dodgy. I was just more interested in the VAR. Yeah, dodgy, dodgy game, man. Dodgy Diaz game. Is, Diaz obviously was on uh, What score was the game? 2 1. What score did I say it was going to be? 2 1. Mm -hmm. Well done, Steve. Well done, Steve. <laughs> Some of us are actually pulling out for the charity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but talk to us, Steve. Um, I know you know. I know you're not you're not a fan of uh, Liverpool, but the refereeing, man. Oh, do you think Jones was a red card? Do you think Jones was a red card? Do you think Jones was a red card? No. What? Wow. No, it was no. To Get be fair, oh, do you know what? No, wait, no. Let me break it down. Do you know what? It, do you know what affects you? It's when you're seeing it in slow mo. It affects Joe, how you're seeing it. I, I didn't need waterboarding. Okay, I want cool. yes or no. Is that a red card? Yes, it is. It is. Do you know why it is? Yeah, because... You just said no. Exactly. Yeah, no, 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 this no, 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 you know, I'm, I'm allowed mistake, to. I'm allowed he's to doing that with his in out, in out. Yeah, you know, but I reckon it's because once your foot goes over that ball, right, the way it did like that, then you're putting yourself in a position where the referee, they have no choice. And that is the rule. The letter of the law is if you are out of control of your body. Hmm. So he's gone over the ball, yeah. Was he out of control? I, I can see you. Right, it could be a red card. I, yeah. If I didn't get, if I was on Liver, uh, Spurs' yeah. team and it wasn't given as a red card, I'd be going yeah. crazy. But have you seen it? No, I seen it's, it's great. It's so the, it's prob the problem is, the problem is, it's like you know that the player was okay. It wasn't like yeah. he was going to break the player's leg, but the ball went over and. It's, it's one of those I think ones. the more important decision is the goal. Yeah. yeah. I want to go back to that red card a second here because all I'm seeing, Liverpool have put a statement out, which probably isn't just on that red card. It's probably on the, the everything that happened in the game, which yeah. is fair. But I'm seeing people bringing up this Jones one, saying he didn't mean it like they knew. Like, mm. how do you know he didn't mean it? Yeah. Like, I think players are clever enough that if they want to go through someone, they can do it yeah, and disguise yeah. it. So people are going, he didn't mean it. It's never a red card. I didn't see this energy last year for Casemiro when actually yeah. his was nowhere near yeah. as bad. Joe said he should have been off. Yep. <laughs> could have killed Straight someone, away. I said. Yeah, yeah could have <laughs> killed someone. Hospital, he said. So and Jones then, didn't mean it. It was yeah, just still... Boy. I'm seeing... Marcus got hit with one off the core this weekend. Same tackle. Nothing. No one screaming about it, this, that, and the other. Nothing. Man United do get different energy in the media. Just totally. to give you context. Because he, it's he a been... big club. No, Arsenal in a big club. Yeah. Not as Man United. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 nowadays. This guy's got to no, come back. Nowadays, I'm going to no, replace it's, you with yeah. him, actually. <laughs> this you know? is true, bro. Like, come on, <laughs> Arsenal, okay. Back in the day, Henri, Bergkamp, all that. But Man United is Man United. But if you go abroad, you come to Germany or go to the States, go to America. Hmm. Man United is like one yeah. of the biggest clubs. Levels, levels. Yeah, but that was that so, was ten, yeah, but it ten years matter. ago. I, I live in that that time, you know. Yeah, like new time. I don't care. Like that, that was real football for me. <laughs> really? Yeah. The What's Barclays the difference? Era. What's the difference now? For you're talking about real football. Nah, it's not. Come on, it's too much. Like around football, like the Instagram, social media, players. You shout at them. They need help. You know, it's like it's too soft now. Back in the day, it was like tougher. You know, I liked it more. You had to be the best of the best of the best to have a chance, even only to train with the first team. Mm. You know, today you play one good season, you score 15 goals, six assists, you cost 60 million. Like I would have cost 150 million back in the day because <laughs> with my age, I was the best in Europe. Sorry, not arrogant, mm. but it's true. The players, they cost too much money. It's too easy right now. You play one good season, pff, 50 million, 60 million. Oh, a good six weeks. Yeah, it's good unbelievable. Mm. Back in the day, you had to prove every week that you have the possibility to play in big clubs like Man United, Tottenham, Arsenal, whatever. 
Like I came as the biggest player from Germany with my age, 20 years, I came to Spurs, no chance. Wow. I played what, 15, 16 games in two years at Spurs. Wow. No chance mm-hmm. because you, you were not good enough. You're like, you have to prove all the time. Did you apply yourself the way you should have? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why you're in favor of these 16 games. Yeah, what of happened? course. But still, in Germany, it was enough because my talent was good. I was like starting 11 the whole time. Mm-hmm. But when you come to a different level, eh, there's no chance. German genius and, and then Modric were playing, you know, no chance. Well, was, what, what, what was you doing that was stopping you getting into the first team? I what? wasn't professional. I was like, give me the detail on that. Like, in what? I was twenty years. I came here. I made a lot of money, and you live in London. Come on, simple as do the math. Yeah, simple. Yeah. China whites and them that you that, them places. Yeah, yeah. funky Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> funky Buddha. <laughs> London Whoa. had me. Yeah, wow. London, London, what I, we always say we've got a group with the United boys, and like when a player signs or like Danny Welbeck went to Arsenal, and that was that boy. If London gets hold of you, bro, yeah, it's yeah. Game, career's over. Wow. London's got uh, many men in their headlock yeah. Yeah. and didn't release. Wow. And it's so simple to hang out like big names, you know? Yeah. I was like hanging out with the drug bar and all this. And I was like, I, I thought I'm him, but this guy is like the yeah. best striker <laughs> in the world. So I thought I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm hanging out with drug bar and then yeah. I'm not even in the squad. Played yeah. second team in front of six moms. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I pulled up in a Lamborghini, you know? It's yeah, like wow. crazy. Wow. That is crazy, man. Honestly. but Like second team, we played Adel Tarab, Gareth Bale and me. Like that was our second front, team. front three. You must have been winning leagues back then. And yeah. then uh, Tarab and Gareth Bale. And wow. we all pulled up with Lambos, Ferraris to play in front of 20 people. There's probably an opposition player got a bus. Wait, wait. <laughs> but do you, do, do, you, do you not ever turn up here yeah, and go, right, there's no fans. I've got a mad car, but there's no fans in that. It's, it's the wrong way around here. Yeah, after a year I did that. One, yeah. one year I lived my life. I enjoyed London. I went out partying, whatever. But after one year I looked in the mirror and said, no, that's not me. Mm. So I asked for a transfer. And then they gave me a loan to Dortmund. I oh, played there six well, months. Yeah, I did well, well. And then came back and then I went to Portsmouth. I said, I have to, you know, that's the problem with players today. They don't accept that sometimes you have to make five steps back to make 15. Uh, the badge, they want the badge exactly. there. They want the big There's badge like, no, there. No, no, I'm in Man United now, I stay here, no matter what happens, no. I was like intelligent enough to understand I'm going to Portsmouth, I'm going to like rewrite my name. You got to play, mm-hmm. haven't you? Exactly, you I played, play. I played good. I had Avram Grant as a coach, he was very important in that, in that time for me. He said, do whatever you want, just no red card. Mm. He said, you can do whatever, go on the pitch wherever you want, but there's no red card. And then I played really good. And from Portsmouth getting relegated, I went to AC Milan. Wow. You know, so. You know what, yeah. we're going to touch more. We're going to touch more. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is why you have to watch My man's career. got a story. Man. And this is just, you know, Kevin Prince being nice. When he goes into detail about players and the stories, it's incredible stuff, man, <laughs> honestly. Uh, PGMOL statement, Steve. What did you think of it when you saw it? Like, um, um, what I thought of it was yeah. ours must still be in the post. Yeah, <laughs> is what I think. What did they say? Acknowledge a significant yeah. Yeah. human yeah. error occurred. Nothing. Yeah, no human error was there, was there? Yeah. yeah. Do you know my, my take on it? Sorry to interrupt you, Steve. Right, and I do that a lot, but sorry. But is the all the clubs had a chance to vote on the technology that would have cleared this goal up this weekend, mm. and the clubs voted unanimously. They don't want this technology. So at the World Cup. It was just purely the technology that would decide an offside based on algorithms, measuring it, and that's it. And it will tell you that. So I didn't no, even know and that was doesn't good. even account for human error. The technology will tell you. The Premier League clubs unanimously decided we're not ready to have that in the, in the Premier League this year. Why? I don't know. I'd love to see that come out. If anyone knows why they voted, if there's a statement or anything like that, I'd love to send it in. We can we can talk about it's it. It's going to cost it. 50p more. But I don't know what it was, but... They voted against it. So then now to see clubs c- complaining about it is wild to me. Let there be no human error in this situation. The, 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 the technology is there. Use it and let it make the decision. That's what VAR is for. That's why we've got technology nowadays. Mm-hmm. The, obviously, the human error is in actually there was part of it in terms of like making a decision or making the call. But the technology should decide all of the offside. There shouldn't be no debate. Mm. That is offside because data tells you. Wasn't the, the the confusion with this is that the on-field decision was made was, was was that it was offside or it was whichever it was is the way it was communicated to the video mm. assistant ref. He was like, yeah, that's fine. As in, he didn't know that that's what specifically what he was supposed to be looking at. Mm. He, he thought it was something else. So is it, maybe they, they need to be clearer in terms of what 
the confirming or maybe the question that goes back to VAR needs to be a bit clearer in, in terms of, you know, they thought they're checking one thing, he thinks they're checking yeah, another the clarity, one. Yeah, definitely. But also, if there's a decision just gone on the pitch, right, and someone's going, whoa, whoa, whoa that's actually wrong. You should have like a 10, 15, 20 second that you can actually say, no, no, hold on, stop the game now. That decision was wrong. If that had happened mm. this weekend, that goal stands. Yeah. I think the guy might have been in the toilet. No, it, there was he something might have been eating right. or in yeah. the toilet yeah. and his eyes went on it. Something's happened. It's true. He fell asleep or well, something. Yeah, can like they not that. confirm? Like, this, there maybe needs to be like a question answered back. So, what your ruling is offside, no goal. And it would go, no, no, he's on. Oh, okay. But this is why I think we should hear what the guys say. at Stockley yeah. Park. This is We should be hearing the discussion. That's, we that's, should be that's, hearing um, that. That's yeah. a big question yeah. because I was at the Women's World Cup in Sydney. Mm. So I went behind the scenes. I saw the VAR room and everything. So what happened at Liverpool is impossible. It cannot happen because you have too many screens, too many... Too many people. Too many people. Yeah. It's impossible that something like this can happen. But what the next step hopefully is going to be is that you can hear what the people yeah. will mm. and, say. And the referee should come out after and explain the decision. Explain yeah. what, mm. this actually has been a mistake, my part, or my team have made a mistake. The technology told us we didn't address it properly. Just so we have like, I think fans, as fans, when we watch the game, you just want clarity. You just exactly. want actually like, because explain that to me. Because it can happen. Yeah, yeah. Mistakes, mistakes happen. You know, but if everybody's hiding afterwards, yeah. like as a fan, you go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Did you when we thought VAR was going to eliminate all the discussion around football? Yeah, mate. <laughs> just bought more. more yeah. uh, so I want to move on really quickly. Hang on, have you seen um, this interaction between McAllister uh, and Romero? Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> unbelievable. Do you see it? No. No, but I just saw you said you played with 12, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that was unbelievable. Can they put it out, please? I'd like to, to guys see that. Mike McAllister says, normal when you're playing with 12. And then Christian <laughs> Romero comes in and says, cry at home. Oh. That shit houseery, man. I like that. <laughs> in oh, team man. Mates as well. Yeah, teammates. Listen, I want to, well, he's, you know. Anyway, I want to uh, move it on really quickly. Obviously, we know that Wolves beat Man City 2-1. Oh, Credit so to them. Gary O'Neill, well I want to know how much pressure's under Pep now. <laughs> um, not not uh, a lot. Ten Hag wasn't you, allowed to you, lose yeah, to won. Wolves, and we won, and we're still under pressure. Okay, but who won the treble last season? Right, so he's All got right. no excuses, and if he's got the best team in the world, right? Well, you know, sometimes it happens. Right. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you can have a bad week. I think oh, you got. Right, I think okay. you got a shout out, Gary O'Neill. <laughs> yes, more than anyone. Yes, he's gone there. He, he, he produced miracles of Bournemouth last year. Then all of a sudden, he's gone in with a fire hose. At Wolves after they sacked the manager and he's doing things like this, beating the treble winners of last year. Yes, three shots, <laughs> one, on one shot on target. Literally, <laughs> City could have put a cardboard cutout of Edison in net and they wouldn't have changed the result of the game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Amazing. City are still favourites to win the league. Who told, who told you that? They are. Why? Why? You've got someone above them? To Don't win the league. you Arsenal. dare. What? Am I, am I crazy? No, you're not crazy, but Arsenal's always like that, and then it goes down. Oh God! The time. Oh no, but, Lord! But, but, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the fans. <laughs> Hang on a minute, truth. but it's wow. all about it's all about experience. Last year we weren't experienced enough to handle. Now this. you are. Oh, now you're experienced. You're getting in the league, yeah. 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 Seeing yeah, right. Arsenal playing, huh? I'm, I'm experience, your experience of what? Your experience of, of, of what now? A, a title challenge. You see, before Liverpool won the league, mm. right? You could tell that with every loss they were getting closer and closer and closer, and that's us. That's what Mikel's done mm. for us. You know, and I don't think you can question. I don't that. see you this year, maybe in two years, because to win something you need winners. You know, that's what I learned in the clubs. You need players who won big things because they know at the end of the day what it means to win something. And not the Audi Cup either. Well, we got Declan Rice has just won in Europe <laughs> recently. You know, <laughs> sure. Odegaard is experienced. <laughs> Robert Drid oh, winning. No, he's God, experienced. He experienced he's experienced what? He's on the training he, ground. He experienced on the training ground. Oh, he's an unbelievable player. Yeah. If he get experience, you know, like a winning. You look at Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund. They were always yeah. close, close, but they didn't win because they didn't have winners. They didn't have the players who went the last last mile. This, you know, yeah, the last step. to know. The, all the pressure is coming and you're ready for it. I remember once, remember, you might not remember because you wasn't in England, there was someone that said you can't win anything with kids and they were wrong. So <laughs> let's just let's just right. remember that also, statement. Also, Liverpool, right. when they went close in the league, they won the Champions League. You lot phoned in Europa League. You're not you the same. You said we're not going to do well in the Champions League. Europe's weak no, right now, talking bro. about what you said. Liverpool went close the year before, but they Europe, actually won the Champions but League. But watch us in the Champions you League lot, this year as well. Do you know what? 
the confidence that comes out of this man's pause here, based that they've not won anything, is nuts. Nothing. No, it mean, it's, it's wild to me. What did someone put in the group the other day? It's about Aston Villa. I think they're going to finish fourth or get into Europe. Yeah, or that was like that. that was Andy Berger, my former right. coach. Shout out. You know, he's saying if anyone wants Ollie Watkins, you got to pay a hundred mil for him. But I've got a voice note of you saying you're going to win a Champions League. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. This season, because I think we can. By I the think way. there's more of a chance of us winning the Champions League than the league. Wow. What? Do you reckon? Europe's poor, bruv. I will say poor. it over oh, and over please. again. It's not good Tom, enough. Just send me that clip. Last for, season, when they get your team, AC and Inter, are in the semis. Seriously. And then Real Madrid are getting slapped in the second leg by City, whatever it was. It was poor. You're not supposed to be get, getting slapped like that in the second leg of a Champions League final, like semi final. It's not, it's not great. I don't think there's the levels, there's not as many good teams as there was it's in poor. the past. But th but that doesn't mean that Arsenal are, are, are got any closer. To I think it. United could even make the quarters, and you lot are rubbish. If I'm honest, mate. If Bayern Munich even glance over in your direction, you're gonna fold like a. I don't. We're not you. We're not you, bro. My my goalkeeper ain't got biscuit wrists. You know oh. what I mean. My goalkeeper catches What's his shots. On? Which one? Which one? Which one? Oh, we still rotate them out. Yeah. Oh, we got we got a choice of two, mate. Yeah, two good yeah. goalkeepers. One of them ain't even yours. Ah oh, man. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. So. Nottingham Forest, drawing with Brentford, well done. Um, Everton, losing to Luton. Don't, Everton, don't skip over down. this. Don't skip over but this. We got, wait, listen, I'm trying to do a, a, a segment with Prince on and his career. And we have career. to do our audience adjustments. And then you're going to go. Everton gotta... fans, talk to me. How are you losing to Luton? Luton. At home. At Goodison. <laughs> if I thought anything out of a Sean Dyche team, it was going to be a bit of grit, a bit of fight. You've just given an audition for why you're a championship fan <laughs> next year. Wow. And actually not even a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and half of them players are going to go. They're in the <laughs> shit. Uh, Newcastle. Are on Newcastle. Now, boy. You know, Did we touch on Valley. Villa? What, what happened there? Uh, De Zerbi, 6-1, they got oh, beat this weekend. One time, never. Yeah. <laughs> why, 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 are you so, why are you so defensive about De Zerbi? Because he's the best, man. He's, can happen. Can happen yeah, yeah I, heard you, I heard this before I came in, that you think he's the best coach in the world? Yeah. I need the details. Of How him. do you know? Because I know. I see the coaches. He's the best in details, in being a, a person, human being how to make every play and every team he goes, every player gets better. Because you, and, and you've also and played. I, I played under him and I was 32 years old and he made me better. Wow. Like every team, he was in Sassuolo, every player got better. Locatelli went to Juventus, uh, Sensi went to Inter. Like What's he doing that's doing that? He lives football 24 seven. Specifically on the training pitch, how is he making you better? It's all details, like everything has a reason, whatever you, whatever you do, like he puts little squares on the field, so you know you have the ball in this square, four squares diagonal, there's going to be the number eight free. So you get six options. Every player has six options to pass the ball. It's unbelievable. Like if you put in details, his training. Distances must be important. Distances, the position players. of your body, the pace of the pass, on what foot, on what pace, what position, everything. It's like everything is, you just go on the pitch and if you get into it, training camp is very hard, very boring because you do all the same Was things it? the whole loads time. of reps if you get Load it wrong stop reps, start again passing he go crazy because he has a character he go nuts he would go like sky sports came to like film live they couldn't go live <laughs> because he, every two minutes <laughs> he went crazy you know it's wow. thing, whatever but because he want perfection so, and he makes normal players great so how are you handling that because at this stage you've been everywhere you know like you've played against with top players against top players. how is he still getting the best out of you at that age. How is he different for Klopp as well? No, Klopp grew a lot. Like he's one of the best in the world for sure. But he's more detailed. He's more into football, playing football. The way I like football. Who deserves it or Klopp? Yeah, deserves Like the goalkeeper is a player with the ball. He's, he has two mm -hmm. feet, like technique. It's so important to him because he said, why don't we use the goalkeeper? He's a one more player. So he puts the goalkeeper up to build up with five. So he's, he's looking at football in a different way. Not only one tactics and he adapts to the other team. It's not 4-3-3 three, three every game. No, then he sees they play this way, he changed five in the back. Or he plays three in the back, four midfield, you know. He changes, adapts and you train there all the time. Like a right back and left back, they know how to play in, as, as number six and number eight. Hmm. That's, I've never seen something like that. There was a player, um, a, a left back, he's now in, I think in Inter. I don't remember his name. So he played left back. The Derby played him one time as a number eight, and he did unbelievable because he trains everybody that everybody can play in every position. Like it's unbelievable. 
We knew all what. I can't wait until we go there and watch you train. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You, it's like it's like a movie. You go there and mm. take popcorn. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so he's crazy, but like positive crazy, and he's gonna. And that's the, the that's the fact. He makes every player better. So we're gonna talk about this. I keep talking about your this episode, this week, yeah. Though. But <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> really quickly, if he's crazy, they still got to be six one this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they still got to be. You know, uh, it but if, <laughs> it can happen. If you risk a lot, you can. Yeah, lose, yeah, you know? Massive shout out to Ollie Watkins, by the way. He was being watched by Southgate. Is he gonna pick him? We see, shall bollocks, see. You know Kane, the Kane's there. That. Kane's there. Yeah. Playing. No, but he's, he's, you every know other that. number nine is a co-star. None of them. No, are I playing. know, but I'm talking about select him, like in the squad. He should be. Oh, in he's going to get on the bench. Yeah, that's a bit mad, though, isn't it? He looks like he's improving. Like we've interviewed Ollie Bro, Watkins before. Number nine is Kane. That's I it. hear that. I'm not saying it shouldn't be because Kane's smashing it he anyway. Might even call Watkins, but I'm just he's not in his little circle of trust. I'm just looking at the selection and stuff like that because obviously he called up Eddie and Ketia, Callum Wilson. You know, like. I'm happy for those guys, but I, I think Watkins, Watkins is the next one for me. But, yeah. but at the same time, it don't it don't even matter because I remember when Carrick used to come to England and he used to go like, "I'm on the bench." Wow, it's like just you, you lose energy probably. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because you're going away, you, it's a good time to rest as well and, mm. and prepare yourself for the next run of games with your club. But you're going away with England or your national country because you're like national team. I got to go, man. Mm. But I'm on the bench. So mm. Not a nice place, to, not a nice feeling. But when you've got Harry Kane in front of you, you kind of got to accept it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Just learn. Mm. Yeah. Your time will come. You know. Mm. Um, no, it's out. Finally, uh, you got West Ham beating Sheffield United two 0 Well done. Okay, guys, this has been our episode of Vibe Five. The reason why I'm moving it on so done, quickly. Heck and bottom. Heck and bottom. Oh yeah, he's, going, I'm yeah. even surprised he's still there. He you know what I mean? Gone. He's. Yeah. I think it's too early. Time's a ticking. <laughs> Um, and Chelsea haven't lost this weekend. Well, because they, they play you. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to keep on saying it. We've got Kevin. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Are we not touching this? There's no way that this was coming up. Go we on. was finishing this without this guy mentioning No Go way. On. What, what have I missed? Pep Guardiola's legacy. Of so, what? So there's, a, a, there's the, the 115 that we know of charges at Manchester City. There's now uh, a massive investigation into payments to referees totaling $7.8 million when Kevin at was there. When was there. <laughs> no, no way. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> That's how I'd say it as well. Yeah. <laughs> so there's loads of uh, officials being indicted for all sorts of stuff. There was a little bit of murkiness about yeah. some stuff with doctors at Bayern Munich. Wherever he's gone, and let's not forget, this is a man that failed a drug test when he was at uh, Empoli, was it? Was that in Syria? Uh, Brescia, Brescia, sorry. Uh, Fernando Rolo. Yeah, he did. Uh, I've got a whole thread on it. If you search Pep Guardiola <laughs> and uh, fail test, I think me is the first thing that comes up. Uh, and he ain't sued me because it's all true. You can't get sued for the truth. I'll tell you what happened. So he had um, a failed urine test. I can't have anything bad said about him, this guy yet. He failed yeah, a urine test. And um, seven years later, the doping regulations in Italy changed and you wasn't able to perform stability tests on urine samples that were over a certain number of time ago. But because of the way the test was stored, uh, he managed to get his conviction quashed. So he was convicted and he had the conviction quashed, but it was quashed on a technicality, not because he didn't do it. It was quashed because... So in court, he's not guilty. Yep. But <laughs> Varda, Varda's president at the time or... or yeah, it was VADA, uh, World Anti-Doping Society came out and said the odds of both of those tests failing stability and him being actually innocent are more than 10 billion to one. Okay. So wow. there's a little bit of murkiness following Pep Guardiola. And I think it's a shame because I think he's a truly transformative coach with a lot of really good ideas. And I think his legacy is going to be tarnished by this in a big way. We'll see. I, I like how so. you got well, nothing to say on this. Listen, because I don't really care if I'm to be honest with you. It really? doesn't affect it doesn't affect If it comes me. out of Manchester City of 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 broken the rules in the last however many years for his dominance, you don't care. For last year I care. For any other year, I don't. It's just the truth. Well, not very hard to believe. Okay, cool. That is viable. <laughs> and if it five. comes out of Barcelona, is it? I want my medal. I want my medal. My Champions League, I want my medal. Both there of them? Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so boy guys this has been Vibe with Five uh, Kevin Prince Wateng who's joined us and yeah we're going to be doing a career video interview with him so please keep on watching Five turn on those notifications sub all of that stuff myself Rio Ferdinand Stephen always trying to get Pep Guardiola in trouble housing <laughs> signing hey, out wait 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 imagine if Barcelona was to get 
sanctioned for this and could you imagine a party two Champions League winners medals that I'll get now you imagine a party. Party. a party are you going to get the medals or do they not just like what would you celebrate bro yeah. it would be a madness yeah bro I'm think going crazy like, I always <laughs> said that one so the first one, the, the first one was Rome before the World Cup the first one was Rome yeah yeah you hear this yeah. you want to win the Champions League before the World Cup yeah is it wow biggest trophy in the world so the first one's Rome I reckon wow. party bus from Rome to Wembley yeah you have not yeah all day long well, guys <laughs> we're out otherwise this is going to carry on for too long peace Steve, Rio, we have our live score six predictions to do this weekend. Last week, with the help of Ash, we got one Wait, score. Uh, with Ash? Yeah, yeah, he was there. One was correct score and two correct results, which is another £100 for our charity. And uh, now we've accumulated £550. Here are the six games this week. What are we thinking? Man United versus Brentford. 1-1. <laughs> oh, no. 1-1. Really. On. I'm, I'm down with that. 1-1. One, one. Just 1-1, one, one, yeah? No. 1-1. One, one. No. We've got to agree. Got Man United 2-0. 2-0. I don't think we're keeping a clean sheet. Aye, aye. For banner, 2-0 it is. Uh, Burnley versus Chelsea. 1-0 <laughs> Burnley. 1-0 Burnley, I agree. Yeah, with I go that. With that. <laughs> Everton versus Bournemouth. Oh, minus four each. It's got to be Bournemouth. Bournemouth, Bournemouth win Bournemouth that. Bournemouth haven't nah, won. Bournemouth. Bournemouth are awful. Nah, Even Everton can get a point now. You reckon? Yeah. So what are we saying? A point then? 0-0. 0-0. Nil, nil. Nil, nil, nil. 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 Right, Stinkfest. Cool. Stinkfest. Oh, the mighty Crystal Palace versus Nottingham Forest. I think 2-1 Palace. 2-0. Two 2-0, all. Two all, yeah. I'm going 2-0 all as well because uh, I think two Forest. 2-0. Yeah. Brighton versus Liverpool. Three Brighton one. the win, 3-1. Three 3-1. One. One. Three one. Really? Yeah, they've just got beat 6-1, but Brighton can bring anything to the table. Okay. okay I think okay, they get back to winning ways. Even though Liverpool are hurt and they're... You yeah, know. they're going to beat Liverpool. Okay, cool. 3-1, we'll go with that. Arsenal versus Man City. 2-2. 1-0. Two, two. <sighs> Rio, Rio. It's a 2-1 win for Arsenal. What are we saying? Come one on, guys. One I one think one. it's a draw. One all. You guys pick. Because I, I, I think I two think. is a bit much. because I actually think Arsenal are going to win. I'm going to go Arsenal. Come on, Rio. Oh, stop it. Two, two on Arsenal. Look at the dark side. Two yes. on Arsenal. Two on Arsenal. Steve agrees. Enter by 3 p.m. on Saturday, the 7th of October for a chance to win. 18 plus UK and Ireland only. Full T's and C's apply. Pow.